hopefully you've had a chance to try this practice problem out. Um, I'm going to walk through the solution now. So if you haven't had a chance, pause this video. Uh, in this problem, we're looking at a sample of aniline, uh, which is uh, like a six-membered carbon ring with a, a nitrogen attached to it. And we have 6.55 grams of aniline. Uh, it has a molar mass of 93.13 grams per mole. Um, and we put it into a bomb calorimeter and ignite it. And the heat of the reaction is recorded at 1.28 times 10 to the fourth kilojoules. So, and during that time period, the, the temperature rises by 32.9 degrees Celsius. So that is our change in temperature. And the question is, what is the heat capacity of the calorimeter? So the information that we have here is this 1.28 times 10 to the fourth kilojoules. That's equal to our heat of the reaction. And that reaction is giving off the heat, right? So relative to the reaction, that's actually a negative value. It's heat that is lost because the surroundings temperature increases. We lose that heat from the reaction out to the surroundings. So I'm gonna make this a negative value. And again, our change in temperature is that 32.9 degrees Celsius. And change in temperature is always T final minus T initial. So this should be a positive value because the temperature of that surroundings is gonna increase. So my final temperature should be higher than my initial temperature, giving me a positive change in temperature. Uh, so to figure out the heat capacity of that bomb calorimeter, we know the heat of the calorimeter will equal the heat capacity of the calorimeter times the change in temperature. So I have my change in temperature right here. And I have my uh, heat of the calorimeter that I need, but I have my heat of my reaction. So remember that that heat of the reaction is always equal to the negative of the heat of the calorimeter. So I can change the sign of that heat of the reaction and plug it in uh, for my calorimeter heat. So instead of being negative 1.28 times 10 to the fourth kilojoules, I know that the, the heat of the tr is transferring into the calorimeter, the water, so I can make that positive. So it'll be 1.28 times 10 to the fourth kilojoules is equal to the heat capacity of the calorimeter times my 32.9 degrees Celsius. So to solve this, I'm really just dividing both sides by my 32.9. And I can calculate the calorimeter uh, heat capacity by just dividing those two numbers. And I get a value that is 389.1, and that's kilojoules per degree Celsius.